The 2021 World Triathlon Championship Series climaxed with the grand final in Edmonton, Canada. Fly past the all. Flora Duffy attempting to make history by claiming a record equaling third women's crown. She had a healthy lead in the rankings. Her closest rivals, Taylor Spivey, Maya Kingma and Taylor Nib, all hoping the Bermudian would have an off day. 38 women in the field. It didn't look like much of an off day for Duffy, though. She was 15 seconds behind out the water, though. Taylor Nib led them from Vittoria Lopez so often there on the swim. Vancouver and Spivey and Kingma all prominent. This, of course, the full Olympic distance, so a 40k bike ride on a hilly course lay ahead. And we were about to witness one of the greatest biking displays ever seen in short course triathlon. Taylor Nib going solo for pretty much all of the 40 kilometers. Perfect positioning. One of the top cyclists around on the women's side. She started the season brilliantly in Yokohama and was absolutely determined to end it in similar style. Behind, though, Duffy was in the chase pack. She knew a top five would be absolutely fine and guarantee her the title. Nib came off the bike with a lead of almost three minutes. A quite astonishing piece of riding from the American. Still just 23. Former junior champion, former under-23 champion as well. And behind her were some very talented women, including Olympic champion Flora Duffy, trying to become the first woman to be world champion and Olympic champion in the same year. Nib looked really controlled and calm on the run. Duffy and Perio were having a real battle for second and third on the day. Duffy knowing that she'd effectively wrapped up the world title. A smiling Nib came home to win by almost a minute. A brilliant display on the back of that quite wonderful bike ride. Perio, her first podium in a championship series race. A really improving triathlete. And star of the show, Flora Duffy, third place, more than enough to guarantee her a record equaling third world title. Only Emma Snowsill can boast that in the early part of the 2000s. Feel like it was a game changer also for Perio, that second place. And what a performance from Nib. Two wins in the series, in the first race and the last, and done in just sensational style with that solo bike break. Here's how they finish. The gap nearly a minute in the end. Duffy uh, 30 seconds further back. Katie Zafirez ran on well to finish fourth. Taylor Spivey's fifth place made sure that she would take third overall in the series. And there's the confirmation of it. A fairly bloodless win in the end for Duffy by uh, three or 400 points. And Spivey just doing enough to earn that bronze. Oh, well, it was a very hard race. Um, yeah, I had a pretty mediocre swim and I had some ground to catch up and I could see Maya, Taylor Spivey and Taylor Nib off the front and I just knew I had to get there before Taylor Nib took the front because she's so strong. And just as I was getting close, Taylor got to the front, attacked and she was just gone. And yeah, she's riding incredibly well. I mean, she's swimming and running incredibly well too. And yeah, such a great performance by her today. And, you know, once she was gone, for me, it then kind of became more of a defensive race. Um, for me, the purpose was to win the world title today, not necessarily be first across the line, although that would have been nice. Well, it was more than enough for Flora to confirm her status as world champion. It remains to be seen if she's going to defend that in 2022. We'll know she'll be in Bermuda, where she's uh, obviously a total folk hero, uh, but time will tell. But certainly... There are plenty of young, up-and-coming starlets around, including Perio and Spivey, uh, as well as some of the other Americans. At the moment, though, Duffy is the best of the bunch.